young men and women, God is calling you to rise with zeal and courage. Your strength, your energy, your passion for the truth is needed now more than ever. 1 John 2.14 says, I have written unto you, young men, because ye are strong, and the word of God abideth in you. It's time to break free from comfort, to dedicate your best to the work of Christ, and to shine as the stars in his kingdom. Are you ready to answer the call? I have written unto you, young men, because ye are strong, and the word of God abideth in you, and ye have overcome the wicked one. 1 John 2.14 The work of God is in need of youthful ardor, zeal, and courage. Mental and physical vigor are essential for the advancement of the cause of God. To plan with clear mind and execute with courageous hand demand fresh and uncrippled energies in order that the work may be forwarded in all its branches. God calls for youthful ardor. Young men and young women are invited to give him the strength of their youth, that through the exercise of their God-given powers, through healthful thought and vigorous action, they may bring glory to God and salvation to men. God calls upon you, young men, to make the most of the powers entrusted to you. Cultivate the habit of doing your best in everything you undertake. God is your master, and you are his employed servants. You're ever to be learning in the school of Christ. You are to bring your entrusted capital of physical and mental energy into your work. Mental effort will become easier and more satisfactory as you put yourselves to the task of understanding the deep things of God. You can rally the mind's best powers, and with a sense of your accountability to God, you can do your best, and you will not cease to advance and to conquer difficulties. Do not settle down in slothful ease, making no special effort to accomplish your work. Make a choice of some part in the large vineyard of the Master and do a work that will require the exercise of tact and talent. I make an appeal to the youthful disciples of Christ to arouse, no longer to indulge in pleasure-seeking, in self-love and ease, no longer be controlled by inclination and by the lusts of the carnal heart. My prayer to God is that the converting power of His Holy Spirit may come upon our youth, that they may become working agents to win scores of youth to Jesus Christ, that they may be among the number who shall be accounted wise, who shall shine as the brightness of the firmament and as the stars forever and ever. Daniel 12, 3. God is calling you to make a difference right here, right now. If this message has inspired you, don't keep it to yourself. Like this video, share it with others, and subscribe for more powerful insights to strengthen your faith. Together, let's live with the zeal and courage God has placed within us. Thanks for watching, and until next time, keep shining for Christ.